أعزائي الطلبة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم في درس جديد من دروس التريجنومتري النهاردة بنشتغل مع بعض دايركتد أنجل بنتعرف يعني إيه دايركتد أنجل دايركتد أنجل is written in the form of an ordered pair إذا كان عندنا أنجل بالشكل دوت أنجل A O B so we can write it in the form of ordered pair O A and O B The two rays O A and O B are the two sides of the angle O A O B and uh, the intersection point O is the vertex of this directed angle. In directed angle we have two sides the initial side and the terminal side the initial side and the terminal side and we have to consider the direction of rotation. In this angle, the direction of rotation is anti-clockwise, is anti-clockwise. So the directed angle must be written in the, in the form of ordered pair, OA and OB. And of course, you know that OA and OB not equal OB and OA. Where OA is the initial side, OA is the initial side, and OB is the terminal side. If the angle of vertex O, the intersection point here, so if the initial side is OB and the terminal side is OA, then is written as the order the pair O, B, and O, A. So we have here the initial side is O, A. In the second figure, the initial side is O, B. Is o B. And of course, we start reading from the initial side. So we read it B, O, A. And the direction of rotation of the terminal side is clockwise. Definition. The directed angle is an ordered pair of two rays called the sides of the angle. Again, the directed angle is an ordered pair of two rays called the sides of the angle with a common starting point is called the vertex. The common starting point of the two rays is the vertex of the directed angle. Question. Is ordered pair OA and OB equals OB and OB and OA? Explain your answer. Solution. Of course, OA and OB, this ordered pair, not equal, the ordered pair OB and OA, because OA and OB are not equal, because, and we write OA, the ray, the ray OA, not equal, the ray OB. The standard position of the directed angle, the standard position of the directed angle. Here we have a directed angle AOB and you have to notice that its vertex lie on the origin and the initial side on the direction on the positive direction of X axis. This position is called the standard position. So an angle is in the standard standard position if its vertex is the origin the vertex is the origin of a rectangular coordinate system and its initial side lies on the positive direction of the x-axis so the condition that the vertex is the origin and the initial side lies on the positive direction question one 
which one of the following ordered pairs express expresses a directed angle in its standard position explain your answer we have a this an ordered pair c a and c d c a and c d where c a and c d if this angle on its standard position of course the answer is no why because its vertex doesn't lie on the origin what about b o a and o e o a and o b and o e this is angle on its standard position why because its origin uh, its uh, vertex o lies on the origin and the initial side OA, we start here with initial side OA. OA lies on the positive direction of X axis. So the solution, we can say that the order the ordered which expresses and directed angle in its standard position are in B, D, and F. B, D, and F. B, D, and F. These angles, these ordered pairs, express angles on its standard position. The ordered pairs does not express a directed angle in its standard position are in A, C, and E. A, C, and E. O, E and OA for example O E O E and OA not on the standard position because the initial side OE the initial side OE uh, not on the positive direction of X axis also OB and OG OB this is the initial side lies on the positive direction of y axis not in the positive direction of x axis so the ordered pair ob and og uh, does not express an angle on its standard position question two which of the following directed angles is in the standard position explain your answer we have here these four figures a b c d again question again which of the following directed angles is in the standard position explain your answer solution the directed angle is in the standard position in the figure C only, only in the figure C. Why? Because its vertex lie on the origin and the initial side lies on the positive direction of X axis. So we have the two conditions here. So the figure C express an angle on its standard position. Here the vertex not on the origin so it is not in it is not standard position here the initial side not on ox so it is not on standard position here uh, the initial side in the negative direction of x axis so figure d and this angle not on its standard position so the only standard position here we have in figure C. Positive and negative measures of a directed angle. Here we have directed angle A, O, B. And the direction of rotation of the terminal side is anti-clockwise. So we consider this measure as positive. So the measure will be positive if the direction of rotation of its terminal side anti-clockwise. 
So this is the definition in figure one, the directed angle resulting from an anti-clockwise rotation has a positive measure. Anti-clockwise has a positive measure. Here we have figure two, the angle AOB, its uh, uh, initial side is OA and the direction of rotation of terminal side is clockwise so this is uh, angle has a negative measure has a negative measure so if uh, you you use a protractor here and you got a, a, a 40 degree a 30 degree it will be positive 40 degree or 30 degree according to your reading in the protractor here if you you measure this using your protractor and you got uh, 30 measures uh, 30 degrees or 40 degrees so it will be negative measure negative 30 you write negative 30 or negative 40 degrees example find the measure of the directed angle theta in each of the following figures uh, the required here in figure A, the measure of this reflected angle. The measure of this reflected angle. And this side is the initial side, and this side is the terminal side. So the direction of rotation is clockwise. We know that the sum of the measures of the accumulative angles around the point equal the 360 the sum of these two angles accumulative about this point equals the 360 so what is the measure of required angle it's 360 minus 55 but the direction of the angle theta is clockwise direction so measure of angle theta here equals the negative 360 minus 55 which equal negative 305 degrees we put the the negative sign to express the direction of this angle it is clockwise direction b b here direction of the angle theta is anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction and the absolute measure for this angle is 360 minus 33 but it's positive so no need to put the negative sign so measure of angle theta equal 360 minus 33 which equal 327 degrees positive again Direction of angle theta is anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction, so it's positive. Here we have the initial side and the terminal side. And the direction of rotation of terminal side is anti-clockwise, anti so it is positive. So the measure of angle theta in figure C equals... 360 minus 125 which equal 235 direction of the angle theta is a clockwise direction here in figure D it is clockwise direction so it is negative so when you calculate its measure you must uh, put the negative sign so measure of angle theta equals the negative 360 minus 134 degrees which equal negative 226 degrees the end of the lesson